Hey guys and Happy New Year! I thought the best way to start off the new year would be with a video talking about my favorite products from 2012. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Moving into face makeup, my favorite face product would have to be the Makeup Forever uh, full coverage concealer and this is in number six ivory now I'm not a person who wears foundation every day so uh, concealer is very important to me since I have current breakouts I have post breakout scars and marks so those all need to be covered on a daily basis and um, this is what I've been using pretty much all year and I absolutely face, love it. I wanted to mention the real technique I think it's called the expert face brush now, this is what I use when I do put on foundation. I like this a lot better than my Sigma Kabuki flat brush because, here I'll compare them. I like that it's rounded and I just feel like it gets the foundation in and blends a lot better than this does and it's cheaper. Um, but I know a lot of people do really love the Sigma Kabuki brush, so I'm not going to hate on it. I just think this is eyes. a lot better. My favorite mascara this year has been Maybelline the Colossal Volume Cat Eye. Now, I know this hasn't been out all year, but this is my favorite mascara I've used this year. And I first time I used it, I absolutely hated it. But it dries up really quick, so that's a downfall. But I like my mascaras drier than um, on more of a wet side. And this is just what the brush looks like. I love that it's curved so you can get right up in there and the bristles are so short um, I don't know if it's, you can tell but this has been just an amazing mascara and I'm not sure if it's limited edition or not but I have stocked up on quite a few of these um, just in case and let's see uh, my favorite eyeliner is Lorax front of the line pro liquid liner and I got this in a kit and I ended up like super duper loving it. It's just like a felt tip but the point is so pointy and this one's actually getting dried up but it's so nice and just exact. So I'm going to have to go repurchase that soon but this is like by far one of my favorite liquid eyeliners that I've ever tried. And for my eyebrows, this is the Define Brow in dark blonde and it has the comb on the end and then it is the finest pencil point I have ever seen in my entire life. So um, I would say I've had the uh, Anastasia eyebrow pencil and I think this is so much better and it's like a third of the price just because it's so exact and that's how I fill in my eyebrows every single day. So I totally, oh, it's just so amazing. Um, love that. That's like holy grail. Holy grail This forever. was really hard for me because I own so many lipsticks and lip glosses that I'm constantly trying out new things um, just about every single day because I don't leave the house without something on my lips. But if I had to choose, um, I would have to pick Max Subculture Lip Pencil because it matches so beautifully with my skin or my skin on um, my lip color. I don't know if you can tell. Um, yeah, so that's super, super pretty. And then I I really do like the Revlon Lip Butters, but I have a soft spot for the Maybelline Baby Lips, especially because they're so cheap. And the color payoff is, um, I think, really nice. This is just the red. If you just want like a sheer swipe of color. And then this is their pink, which I think they call passion pink, I don't know, pink punch. Um, and this is like, I don't know, if it's not going to show up as well on my hand, but I like, this is just like amazing, amazing color, the pink punch. But yeah, that's just what they look like, pink punch, and then that's the red. So the baby lips would probably be my favorite lip product. Is hair um, care. My favorite hair shampoo or cleanser of the year is when now I forgot it in my shower but I'm sure you all heard of when it's a cleansing conditioner you use it twice it has no salt baits not, nothing bad in it and I just started using it this past year it's rather expensive so that's why I was very hesitant on ever trying it but I was pretty much in a terrible situation with my hair where it was breaking really really bad and some of it actually fell out due to breakage. It was just a mess from 
two years ago now or over a year ago year and a half ago anyways I lose track <laughs> but I've been using one and it definitely has made a big difference in my hair it's more moisturized than it would normally would be so that's my favorite shampoo my favorite uh, styling product has been the Kenra volumizing spray and it's just a hairspray and it's a number 25 because I know she makes um, different numbers different brands or different holds not brands um I was again hesitant on ever picking this up full size because it is rather expensive I'm used to just buying hairsprays at the drugstore so three to four dollars versus in the teens I'm pretty sure this is what it was 18 maybe 22 I can't even remember but it definitely makes a big difference spending more money on certain things I think is worth it and this has been definitely thinking about it I should have probably added these two products into my skincare or at least my face makeup product category but these two things I, have, I must say have made a huge difference in how my face ends up looking after I do my makeup and this is the Scan Scandinavian Moisture Lock Makeup Finish and then this is just my Fix Plus and spraying this over your makeup helps give the appearance of not having a cake face and this definitely helps keep um, any moisture into your skin so I would definitely recommend trying those out. My if you final have category for my favorites of 2012 is perfume and I am a perfume hoarder like I just have back there like this huge shelf of all my perfumes but if I had to pick one this would be my favorite of 2012 and it is by Ralph Lauren and this is the NER number one and it may not look like I used a lot but it's probably the most out of all the perfumes I have back there that like it's gone but this I think originally debuted in March of this year I remember I smelt it in a magazine just in one of the little fold open things and I was on the plane going on to vacation and I smelt it and I was like oh my gosh this is like amazing and I went to my boyfriend and I'm like smell this and he was like oh my gosh that is really really good we need to you know get it for you so I checked it at sephora.com and I ended up I couldn't they said that the fragrance was sold out but then they had like an air can of it and I was like okay well I can settle with that it's cheaper so it came and I didn't ever realize that, that it was for men it was the men cologne and the female stuff wasn't even out yet so I ended up giving that to my boyfriend but when it did eventually come out um, I ran and I picked it up but you guys I can't even I, just, I can't even describe it it's like clean and masculine um, and it's part of the collection where there's one two three four and they each have a different color but this is so this is just the blue number one and it's just an amazing fragrance and if I had to pick one to be like my signature scent this would for my 2012 yearly favorites I hope you guys had a terrific 2012 and your 2013 would be even better so I guess I'll just see you in the next video bye guys